Greetings. Good morning. It's about 6.30 on Sunday. The sun's not up yet. They just had a program on the radio I listened to regarding morality. The chip is coming. They want to implant a chip in us. I saw the other day a video about the mark of the beast and 666 and Antichrist. And there's a lot of videos out there. We know that some people have been hired to put out videos to discredit our faith. And they've been hired through the federal government, as well as other places. When we see these videos, we notice they have music that is psychologically exciting. It's the type of music that you would hear in a movie theater. When I hear that music, I know that the video is bullshit. Now let's talk about what they were just talking about on the radio. First we need to realize there is something that is being made now that I call the man beast. I've called it this term for about four years now. This is the beast that was revealed to us in the scripture. And it is a beast that is made by the hands of man. A lot of people think that the Antichrist is going to come in flesh and blood. But it's not so. The Antichrist comes at the hands of man and sin. And the Antichrist is going to tell us how to live our life. How we must be morale. We must respect other people. We must not get angry. And it's going to be constantly sending us messages from birth. If we make a decision that the Antichrist doesn't choose for us, then it will choose to correct us. So we just had a couple people on the radio, a physicist, somebody representing the Dalai Lama. And what they believe is that we are machines ourselves. <clears throat> We're biological mechanisms. And therefore, as mechanisms, we can be controlled and justly within the boundaries of the law of nature, which they have chosen to deny. They're giving us hints that morality is really a set of experiments that it is invented by the hands of man. That is not something that is from the Alpha to the Omega. As our Father has taught us, so His Spirit that brings us light because they seek to sin only through the repentance of sin. And that is why the Christ taught us the kingdom of God is at hand. They're saying that we can create conditions to improve. That we can create our own moral compass and our own moral progress. Something they also call an ethical advancement. They equate ethics to morality because of this idea 
that you can improve upon the spirit. That the spirit is not quite good enough. The man is not quite satisfied with the laws that have been given him. And that is what this is about. This thing we call the way. Rastafari. Justice of Nazareth had come spoken to the people who had attempted to add on to the word and the Christ spoke and said the law stands and even more so because they know their rule of law is rooted in sin it's corrupt it's cracked and it's beginning to crumble Again, it wasn't enough for them. They weren't satisfied because they wanted to live in sin. Shortcomings from their maker. So it's this man-beast now that they're building behind the scenes. And they're going to send out all the soldiers of the man beast, which are also made by the hands of man, that are going to intercept your behavior and send it to that central database, the man beast, which is going to become our new God. We serve the living God. We know of the living God's pain, anguish, disappointment. We seek to eliminate cruelty amongst men. We seek to please the Father because we know without the Father, we wouldn't exist. <laughs>